Aloha and welcome, video viewers. I'm Fade Panther, and this is the world of Subnautica. In the last episode, I attempted to go to the island, uh, somewhere out there, and find fruit. Well, that proved fruitless, because I couldn't find the island. So, I'm not going to go and deal with that. Instead, I'm going to make sure that I can utilize the environment to its fullest potential. Meaning, right now, my next order of business will be to set up some storage in there. So I need a bit of glass, some titanium, to set up a proper um, storage. And then, I will go off to the Aurora Hopefully not die. And seal it up so I can actually not worry about the radiation any further. As it stands, I only have available my sea glide as a vehicle. Cool. So, that's going to be fun. So storage first. Just so I have a big expanse of storage available. What are you? Probably more titanium. Yep. Oh, there's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna turn down a free crash powder. I wonder if this recharging means that they took out the charging fins. Well, I've got what I need for my storage cabinet in the safe base, so let's go ahead and do that. Then, repairing the Aurora. And you. The locker. It holds a lot more stuff than the wall cabinet. Don't need these on hand. I do with those. Don't need these. There we go. Off we go. First, find the Aurora. That should be simple. There it is. Next, go to it. Oh, right, I hadn't looked at this last time. <clears throat> Make sure to be careful not to get killed. I probably should have grabbed a health pack. Oh, there's a reef back. Oh, and I do know that there is a new creature called the Sea Glide, or uh, the Sea Trader. think that these things are a, like a cocoon for a, a different creature. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. to fight off sand sharks. So I'm not going to worry about that. In 
any scannables I will go out of my way for, but I will not pick up anything this venture. Well, not exactly not anything. Because I do intend on trying to grab that power. This is too close to the edge. Because over there is a sea leviathan. Reaper leviathan, whatever. Signal, what are you? Cave entrance. Yeah, not what I care about. I'm hoping to find the landmass one. Disinfected water. Battery! I know, I just got through done saying, oh yeah, I'm not gonna pick up anything. And What am I doing? Exact opposite of what I said. Power cell. No, 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 that I need. Uh, okay, that one was empty. Disinfected water. Disinfected water. Whole fish. Hover fish. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. Hey, they took out the aggressive creatures around this side. I'm okay with that. But, more than likely, the actual aggressive creatures are going to be guarding the entrance. No, they actually took them out. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Now, in here... Some of the blood suckers, which I don't have a defense against right now. That's what I heard. Bleeders. Annoying little suckers. Scary as hell. Stop it! Oh, this is taking way longer than it should, because you're being a dill. There! Jeez, I'm... damage against impact. Calculate such as this was not sufficient enough to cause the whole uh, core breach. <sighs> Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I like that they shoot sparks. It makes it really easy to find them. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Four needs to be left in order for me to stop looking for the side ones. Five, so one more. There it is. Containment 
containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay. Particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. Cool. Yoink. Now let's go explore. See if there's anything else I can find. Oh, right. Uh, cave entrance, heat signature. I need landmass. Oops. I used the wrong one. Pressure compensator for the sea moth, which I don't have yet. Okay. Yep, these are still here. Cave. Too bad I can't scan a corpse. Not gonna turn down power cells. Need those to make the sea moth and the vehicle bay. Now, come on. And I really, really, really would like to get my hands on that. In there, somewhere, is the freaking uh, Reaper Leviathan. Yeah, you're gonna tell me that I should stop exploring. Possibility, but no. They wanted more of the game to be underwater, which is fine. But there's this is a giant ship for crying out loud. Oh well. I'm not going to search the uh, premises any further. I'm gonna go straight back to the safe base so I can get some food and more importantly save my inventory so I don't lose any of this really precious material i.e. the engine and the batteries the power cells all that shit normally would take me a, a while to build I have it I have it now And I don't lose the batteries anymore. I swap them out, so sweetness. <laughs> C 
safe base it is. No scannables, which eh, irritated me. Outside of him. Holy fuck! What are you doing there? You are literally the thing I did not want to run into. Oh my god. This has got to be a fucking problem. Just awesome. That, you know, great. Grand. Fucking great. So anywhere near the uh, the aurora is going to be a hazard now. Yeah, they took away the smaller creatures to put in a freaking reaper leviathan. That's great. Ah. Uh. Seriously, what the hell is he doing there? Are there now like three of them around it? Four? Ooh. Battery charger. I need three of them. Uh, okay. Uh, I've got some health kits. So I'm going to stick around this area, folks. Um, meaning, I will catch you all in the next episode. Uh, hopefully I don't die. Until then, have fun. Be safe at Aloha.